Bruce. Well, we will, we will start with uh, Michael Grady. Yes, Network. Bruce, what do you what do you feel like you guys got back to um, uh, head into this game that you knew you needed to do in order to be successful in Game Four? I think we were just more physical. Uh, we got into them more. We touched them a little more. Uh, we didn't let anything be easy for them. Uh, we got lower. The, the foul, how many times we fouled them. But uh, I think overall we did a good job. Um, yeah, Nate asking about, you know, unruly fans. But, again, someone threw a water bottle at Kyrie. Um, is, did you did you see what happened? And uh, from your, your view, what more can be done to protect, protect players in these environments? Um, no, I didn't see it. I was too busy looking for my father. Um, but that, that's that's crazy. That shouldn't be a, a part of this game or even in an arena. I think he should, the person who did it should be banned. Um, that can't happen in any arena. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Bruce, what, what, I guess what was the biggest mindset change that you guys had to have from game three to game four? It seemed like you guys were night and day a different team. Yeah, we just locked in. We just knew our, knew our game plan. We locked into our game plan. We just be more physical. Uh, don't let Tatum get going, force him certain ways uh, in certain uh, plays that they have drawn up for him. Uh, so once we did that, we were good. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Bruce, what was the key to the third quarter defense when, you know, Tatum was the only one scoring for most of the period, uh, almost eight minutes of the period? Uh, what did you guys do there to take everybody else out? Uh, I think, I don't really remember. I just thought, we stuck to the game plan. We just was physical with them. Brian Lewis. Uh, I'm sorry. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Bruce, I got two for you. Just you guys had that stretch at the beginning of the second quarter where you hit your first seven shots. You had Katie and Kyrie on the bench, and the second unit really kind of gave you guys a lead. Or just what would you make of that stretch for you guys? Uh, we were just playing with some pace, getting up and down. Everybody's playing confident. Uh, we knew that James can, can score every time. So everybody out there had to be uh, aggressive, and Kai kept. Uh, telling us all night to be aggressive and play our games. And then just out of curiosity, how many people did you have here for you at these past two games, given that they uh, expanded the capacity for today? Uh, not really a lot of people, because uh, I wasn't purchasing any tickets. They're a little expensive out of my budget. But uh, my dad was here, so that was huge. Uh, I haven't seen him in a minute, so uh, it was good seeing my dad. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Bruce, you know, James had 18 assists tonight. You know, what do you see from him just in terms of just getting that offense moving? Yeah, he just makes the game easier for everybody. Uh, he was in constant communication with me, letting me know where I, what I need to do in the pick and rolls. Uh, and it worked. I started scoring a little bit. Uh, and then he was telling me, like, the low man's going to step up, so now you just make the play. Uh, so he's big for me, and I think everybody else on the floor. Steve Lichtenstein, WFAN. Hey, Bruce, uh, that lineup with uh, Kevin as the sole big at the five and you back. No, uh, no, no. I'm at the five. I'm at the five. At, Kevin, right. Kevin to three. At the five. Kevin is the sole big on the floor. Did, was that a lineup that you knew was in advance was going to happen, or was that an in-game adjustment? No, I think that was just an in-game adjustment. We went to our last game, uh, I think, towards the end of the game. Uh, so, yeah, that was just an in-game adjustment. We haven't really uh, practiced that or anything. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Bruce. Uh, could you tell from game three to game four that Kyrie was in a different place aggression-wise from last game to this game before uh, the game started? And if so, how? How could yeah. you tell? Like, I how just, does he show it? Kyrie was just locked in. Um, I think he was just a little anxious the first game. Uh, he wanted to do so well because um, he's back in Boston and played so well. Um, so, yeah, he just locked in, didn't say much in the locker room, so we knew he was going to come out and give us his best effort and be aggressive. Last question, Matt Brooks, Nets Daily. Bruce, you mentioned that you guys were doing little things with Tatum, just wanting to push him certain directions. I was just curious what those things were, what those things you were looking at uh, doing with him. Uh, I'll tell you that at the next game. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Bruce.